Welcome to the 10 Minute Treasure. My name is Jeff Pospisil and I'm glad you could join me for this video series. I'm going through a series on what it looks like for a good split within the United Methodist denomination. Uh, so the United Methodist denomination, they are splintering or splitting to create also the global Methodist denomination. And a few weeks back, I had presented four principles. And so I'm gonna go through the second of those principles, which is a good home for every church and every pastor. And what I want to really present for you is some questions that you should be asking yourself to try to discern what a good home for you is. I kind of wish that I could somehow give you an assessment or a checklist that would definitively tell you, you know, you are a global Methodist or you are a United Methodist. But to the best of my knowledge, nothing like that exists. Um, there are some tables that tell the difference, and I'll, I'll put those uh, link to that in the, in the description. Maybe it'll be a help to you. But as these pictures are pictures of my kids enjoying their home. And you can kind of feel a good home, um, and I hope it's a good home, but uh, obviously it seems like a home includes pets. Um, we got a dog here, a hamster here, and a cat here, and that's not even all the pets. But anyway. A good home is more of a feeling than it is an assessment. And I did develop three questions. Um, they've kind of come through my own experiences. I always try to figure out, you know, where I fit in this. And I, I'm just going to share those with you. The first area that I look at is you have to know yourself to know where you belong. And so that's knowing your values, knowing your purpose. One of the sad things is that a lot of our churches really don't know their purpose or, or know their values and they, they've kind of inherited it so by the way i'm going to give a link to the values workshop which has been well received in the dakotas and uh, i encourage you to go through that exercise and even personally if you haven't done that um, to figure out what your values are what your purpose is that will help a lot in trying to figure out where where your good home is um, one question that i've asked myself that i think is important and might give you a head start is who is the main thing and why? I guess that's probably two questions, um, but it's one sentence at least. Who is the main thing and why? So as a pastor, you know, who do you, uh, why did you get into ministry? You know, what what is the, the person that fires you up the most? You know, is it um, bringing the good news uh, to people that have never heard it? Is it working with the youth? Is it ministering to people as they're going through tough times? and try to articulate that as a church you know what it, who is the big win so is it uh, caring for the members is it raising up youth that uh, stick with the church is it uh, caring for people in the community who is the main thing and why so that that is the first question and and to help you in knowing yourself Once you have a good idea of what your own values are, what your own purpose is, you're going to be better equipped to evaluate the options. So the next thing is to know your options. And so what I would hope you would do is you would go directly to the, those that are planning on staying with the United Methodist denomination and directly to those that are planning on going or maybe they have already gone to the global Methodist denomination. And I want to reinforce that. I want to say directly. Um, because we don't, it, it's so easy now, especially in this day and age, for us to try to answer for the other side, to set up a straw man and knock it down. Um, but I, I really think you should speak for your own self. Um, but they will have concerns about the other side. And one of the questions you can ask them is, what questions did I ask the other side? So then you're giving them a valid way to express that concern without allowing them then to provide the answer. The other side can provide their own answer. So that's just one way of helping at least dodge that bullet where you're trying to judge who is answering most correctly about the UMC or the GMC. Let them answer for themselves and then you can judge those answers for yourself. And the next one, I feel like I probably should have let off with this one, but it's knowing God's will. And sometimes it's very difficult to discern God's will for, for you as a church or as an individual. Um, but I, I truly believe that God is our creator, the creator of every single individual. 
and he's also the architect of the church. So he's building the church. And so how does your church fit into God's architecture? How does your, um, how do you specifically fit into God's creation? So that's a question to ask God. But um, one of the questions I have asked myself when I'm facing a decision kind of like this is, am I being called to or released from? Am I being called to or released from? So if I'm at a church, I feel like I don't have permission to leave unless God is calling me to somewhere else or if I feel like I'm being released. And again, this is kind of a, a feeling type of thing. But I know people that, you know, they don't agree with their current church's stance, but they don't feel released from it. They feel like God has them there for a purpose. You know, and other times I, I know people that have left churches that they're perfectly happy with because they felt called to something else. And I, I do think it's very important throughout all of this to seek what is God's will. And um, yeah, I think that's very important. I hope this has helped you. I hope those three questions are a blessing for you. Um, there's more resources at dakotasumc.org. I'm going to also include a, a link to, we have a, the strategy team page on our website. I'm going to include a link to that because there's a lot of good resources there. So, all right. God bless you.